what is going on everybody and today is a very exciting day my controller just came in i'm so happy that it came in and everything i can finally get my 8000 watt e-bike back on the road and i wanted to do an unboxing of this controller so that way y'all can see what what uh what i have and everything um before i do that i would like to give a big thanks to to three people man that helped me uh come with the money to get this controller uh late easy uh, i hope i'm pronouncing your your name right man but if i'm not uh let me know in the comments man but thank you thank you late easy for uh contributing to this uh this here uh my controller be getting here um big thanks to my boy roy garcia he stayed on the road from me and last but not least antonio nickelberry for actually giving me the rest of the money to actually buy this controller so big thanks to y'all i really do appreciate it you just don't know how much this means to me and everything uh, straight up and uh money money is tight right now you know I, I'm, I'm sad i was i was sad that my controller broke my Sauton 72 200 that it, it broke down on me and everything and it kind of left me uh without e-bike for for a while you know so but i'd like to get a thanks to those guys man for actually to, to uh, donating some money to help me get this controller also to the rest of y'all man y'all stayed up with me man on that video that my solid tongue was broken um y'all know exactly who y'all are and everything but i'm um i'm actually going to give y'all thanks in the comments and everything so but anyways Without further ado, man, let's go ahead and open the contents and let's see what we got in the box. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I really wanted to um to do this in front of y'all, man. I didn't want to, you know, uh, do this without y'all seeing what's going on and everything because a lot of y'all, a lot of my subscribers, man, like to see stuff like that. So we're going to open this bad boy up. And I'm going to uh, show exactly what we're going to be doing. Alright, so here we go. The moment of truth, y'all. Oh, man. Y'all see it? Do y'all see it? It's the far driver controller. We're going to get into that later. Now, let's go ahead and get it to the wiring. So here's the wiring right here we have with the uh, with the controller. So we got some screws going to terminals right there. I'm gonna put those to the side. Also, here's the wiring, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna go with this. What I'm gonna be doing with this soon, uh, with y'all after we get the uh, rest of the contents out of the box. So we're gonna set that to the side. Also, we got the Bluetooth dongle here. Let's see, yeah, you can see that right there. It says far drive on it. Um, yeah. So I'm very happy right there. And here is the DKD display. So this is this is a little bit different from the UK C1 display and even the SW900s that we be um more used to. So here's the wire harness that come out of the DKD display and here it is. Now this is a little bit bigger than the uh than uh UK C1 display. So it is it is very big. And uh we're gonna well, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna wire this up too, okay? So it has some protective uh uh protective film uh over the uh over the display so we're gonna keep that on there and they supply me also with a um a three mode switch so this is gonna be my high low speed right here so we're gonna be uh putting that on the handlebar so i can have my low my low speed high so i have low medium and high so that's what's up right there and then let's get the power drive out holy crap this thing is huge i mean i well i mean dust had one too but then i ain't see dust is on in a long time oh man this thing got some oh man this thing is heavy okay so here it is let me see if y'all can see that so we have the nd 72850 so we're going to have 850 phase amps and 450 battery amps now um as you know i have made a battery um for uh running this control for temporarily until i get my big pack ready 
so we're gonna be pushing about 60 amps out of this because that battery pack I made only um only max output is 100 amps. So, but look at the look at the heat sink on this bad boy, or well not heat sink because they don't have the fins on it, but this is more of a heat spreader. So I'm gonna figure out how to where I'm gonna mount this on um on my bike. Uh, we're gonna get into another video on that right there, but so here we go. So we have the positive and the minus or negative. And then we have our phase cables right here, and this is where the um the the wiring harness goes in right here. Man, she is heavy, man. She's heavier than the Sabaton 200, um by by margin. I mean, yeah. So let's get that out of the way, cause that's all it that comes. Now I'm gonna put that down right there. So. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing since I made I did make use of my Sabaton controller. So I'm gonna bring over some stuff that I already made with uh, to power the far driver controller. So I had got a I don't need the hall sensor, that's just something that I had on hand that I might use. Um so we have the the uh, low brake switch, which is gonna be right here. Let me go bring the far driver. Uh, harness out so so we have our alarm let me see here so these two is our alarm right here the red ones are alarm this is the power so that's that's all going to send um actually from the battery to a on and off switch i have and then it's, this right here is going to power the controller on and then we have our throttle which is right here so so our throttle so we're gonna we're gonna take this off and then we will incorporate this as my throttle. So I'm gonna be changing these plugs over, okay? So, and then we got the hall, the, uh, the hall sensor wire loom, and this right here, the light blue wire right here, is gonna go to our display. So right here, this is gonna go to the display. So we're gonna go, so we got display, we got ignition that we're gonna be using, and then our low brake switch is gonna be, I think either the, uh, the black and green or the red I mean, in the or the black and so one of these I believe it's this one right here is the low brake switch and we're gonna be tying uh, we're gonna be tying this in to our low brake switch and then like I say we have the uh, the throttle is gonna go in and then we're gonna have our speed sensor right here that's gonna go to the display so not much we're gonna be using out of the display right here so so we're gonna be, um, we're not gonna be cutting these off, but we're just gonna just put those to the side so that we're not gonna be using those wires. So, but I'm gonna have a full detailed video um, of how I'm gonna um, wire this up to the uh, to the bike. And then we'll have a three switch. Also the, oh, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but our three, our three speed switch, I'm sorry, which is right here. So this is our three speed switch, which is gonna go right here and we are going to uh be incorporating another uh which is right here not that one but we got um this it's gonna go um so this is the the male and we also got a female it's in my toolbox and that's gonna go to our three speed switch and uh so yeah so here's the controller again which is a big uh pretty big well it's not really it's almost a, the height is the same height as the Sabaton and it's shorter than the Sabaton as well, but it's wider. So it's wider than the Sabaton you know, 72 200, but it's it's shorter, shorter in the overall design right here, you know what I mean? But it's just wider than the Sabaton controller, but heavier than the Sabaton controller. This is a lot heavier. So that 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 really surprised me and everything. So anyways, but like I say, uh, the controller is in right here. I'm going to be studying this, um, studying this controller from front to back, so that way when I get when I get the hang of um, all the parameters that I need to set on this uh, controller, I'm going to be showing you on uh, YouTube exactly how I did the Sabaton controller, how you can set this up to your e-bike and get it running, because there's not plenty, there's not YouTube videos that that shows you um, how to hook this up to your e-bike and everything or which wires that you need to hook up to your e-bike and everything so that's what i'm gonna be doing um so hopefully y'all stay tuned for that video and everything 
And um, I'm going to, like I say, thank you all guys, man, for, for just being there with me, especially the ones that actually contribute the money to get this controller. It's finally here. And soon I'll be having my um, e-bike on the road, okay? So so that's it for this um, unboxing video. This, uh, the um, the Ford Driver um, ND850, 72850. And um, I will be hooking this up. And once I get done, I'm gonna put a video on how this thing runs and show you how to hook this thing up. So, so anyways, this is the e-bike guy channel. I'm finna go for right now, and I'll see you in the next one.